used to think if I couldn't find hope, I should just let it all go. I used to think if I couldn't make dreams come true, I should just let them all go. When life seems And um, I'm hoping that you have brought your learning tools, particularly your Bible, pen, highlighter, paper, whatever you need. We're going to be ready to start the subject of love. And we're going to begin with John 3.16. So I'll give you a moment to find that scripture. You may also want to Google that, John 3.16. That is a New Testament book. And again, we're getting ready to discuss the subject of love okay this is a spiritual perspective 316 and it states for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life hopefully you wrote that down okay we're going to get to that in just a second now we're going to skip on further in the New Testament, and we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 3.16. Everybody knows about 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13 was basically dedicated to the subject of love. Now we're going to be discovering this word for ourselves, okay? Um, not for anybody else, but for yourself. But we're going to start from a biblical perspective, okay? With a spiritual perspective perspective okay if that makes sense to you at all and again that's first corinthians 13 okay and it says and the title is love is the greatest gift okay though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity i am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal and though i have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all of my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaineth not itself or vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I'm going to stop right there, okay? I'm going to stop right there, okay? We're going to move on to the last one, which is John 13 and 34. and 30 wait a minute is that first john 13 34 give me just a second y'all let me pause let me make sure i got people that's 
first John, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. So you will have to go towards the very, very end of the book. So it's first John. There are three Johns. Okay, towards the end. So we want the first epistle, John, chapter 3, and verse 11. And it says, For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. All right, so just write it down. You can um, or Google it, First John 3 and 11. This was the last script dealt with kind of a spiritual order or maybe even a religious order, but what do we mean when we say love, when we use the term love, okay? So um, to demonstrate my perspective to you regarding love, okay? This is your spiritual perspective, your spiritual side. We're going to say G-I-L. That's God is love, okay? God is love. I'll bring that down a little bit and on this side we're gonna have love of us so we got some Siamese twins here we got Gil God is love and the love of God and God's love gave he gave okay and the love of us as in first Corinthians it deals with Kindness. We dealt with giving. It dealt with caring. We just talked about the poor. Okay. It also dealt with jealousy. Now get this. Guess what? Acronym is in jealousy. Lou. Now, in the first epistle of John, the next verse dealt with the love. It says, Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. That's the next verse. Well, we're not going to discuss that right now. But it's funny that the love of us, when we deal with jealousy, because it talked about envy things, 1 Corinthians 13. We have jealousy. It's funny. Lou is in this. But love can't be all of this. So when we're defining something, we need to be very precise about what we're saying. Because when we don't know, we abuse. Okay? These, to me, are like ingredients. The antidotes to love, or what the Bible referred to as charity. Now, for us today, charity is what? Giving. Giving to the poor, the disenfranchised. Okay? But 1 Corinthians said you can do all of that and still don't have love. And from a spiritual perspective, that's my perspective, that could be either way. You could be doing great things for people and not getting the love in return. Or it could be vice versa. You know, people loving you and you not loving them back. But what does that mean? Because oftentimes we think love is based on how we feel. But I'm asking you today, when it comes to love, how do you, excuse me, think? That's my spiritual perspective. Until next time, namaste. Stay tuned for your monthly forecast. Wonderful. All right. Hey, Dodgers and Chargers. Welcome to Soul Station with the Spiritual Bee. I hope you are doing well. I hope like the transition okay the intros the lesson you know let me know in the comments what you think about that you know it's a great way to um level up your forecast especially now that we are down to maybe two reports a month 
Uh, we'll have a monthly forecast and then we'll do a follow-up. I got some things going on. My life is in transition at the same time as my baby is transitioning. She's growing up. So you know how it is when we grow up. We kind of look funny. Um, nonetheless, we got to keep, you know, keep it going, keep it rolling. And uh, this is the plan right now. So hopefully in the near future, we'll get back to the weeklies. But I hope you enjoy uh, what I can offer you. And remember that this is for the general public, okay? It's a collective for the house of doctors and charters. That's Aries, okay? The messages fit, knit. If they don't fit, quit, all right? And we're going to be dealing with external energies. Oh, Jupiter is all over the place, but you are in diamonds and pentacles this month. And externally, you are, wow, Jupiter again, but you are in wands or staffs. And you have 55. Love the number 55 sometimes. But um, because I'm, a, why you say sometimes after what I'm about to express to you? Because 55 to me deals with maximum abundance, but it's like, It's like, that's what it is. That's the max. In this phase, in this cycle, at this time, that's all you're going to get, okay? It's just like a loan. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're going to get. The maximum you can get. The maximum credit, okay? Uh, this is dealing with uh, a phase and a cycle, okay? And it's in, in, there's a lot of... Um, Support, commitment, experience, learning, a lot. But you are reaping the benefits of that. You know, it's not easy because you're learning a lot. It's shaping your attitude. It's shifting your thinking. You know what I'm saying? It's helping you come up uh, with better plans to, to push you toward success because Jupiter likes success he likes to see people happy you know what i'm saying um and i see externally you have um a healthy and happy plan or you have uh, a nice amount of cash you know what i'm saying but you need to um care for it you know you need to carefully plan it you know what i'm saying because you, with this, whatever this is, this is the lessons to learn, you know. You know, I'm getting character out of this, you know. So you may be learning more about your character, how to improve your character, or you may be around somebody that doesn't have the best character. Their morals may be different, but that keeps you in check in some way. And you're really teaching each other. They teaching you things and you're teaching them things. But you feel like you're the only one getting the lesson. You know what I'm saying? Because you're really in the experience and um, the person with the less character more than likely is in authority, okay? Now, that could be you or someone else, you know? But all in all, you're up for it. You're up for um, whatever these plans, whatever's going on. You're excited. You're putting a lot of energy in, into your work, into your art, into love whatever it is you want to do you are highly energetic internally you fired up you ready to go you ready to make it better you know what i'm saying you ready to be a bigger better person and i don't know if that's dealing with character or in business or in on your career path i don't know in your work i don't know because to me work and career is different okay yeah, this month in August, you know, 
This is the month that we talk about that lion gate on 8-8, the 8-8 portal. Um, matter of fact, that'll be the next day after this, okay? After this release, okay? So, yeah, you have a lot of steady good energy here. And needless to say, you need to care for it, you know, uh, be careful not to bite the hand that feeds you as well. I'm getting out of this energy. Dodgers and Chargers. So, like I said, it could be you to another person. You know what I'm saying? Because we are in the first house. You know, the first house is the house of the earth god. You know, the masculine earth god. You know, uh, I am the boss. You know, so this could be you. The authoritative one. So what can we expect this month? The two of pentacles. And it is coming out of the five of pentacles, which is your present or past energy. And you have an outcome of the high priestess energy. For the month of August, this is work, money, and romance still. And remember, we're on the subject of love. And Jupiter knows how to show love right i know you would know how to make you feel good but right now you, <laughs> you you know i don't know if this is now or in the past but that wasn't always the case you have a lot to worry about you know what i'm saying i don't know if this is about your job money it's coming out this five of pentacles needs you know finances food bills getting paid you know You've been having some real deep concerns. How you going to make it? You know, we, that's funny because I said maximum abundance. You know, your maximum abundance, like, if you're making $10.50 an hour, that's what you're going to make with this job until they give you a raise. That's your maximum, you know. But I, I, I see you're going to be all right, you know. Something comes through for you, maybe – uh, through an uncle, uh, or maybe you're benefiting somebody because there's a decision to be made here, what you're going to do. But um, somebody's happy, somebody's pleased, support. There is support here, okay? There is support. You know, this this support may come from a state or local agency. And you know, like they say, well, we're going to do this for you for the next two or three months. Who knows? But it's here, but you... You know, you've been fretting a little bit, been concerned, trying to figure it out. You know, wondering. Wondering. Or maybe that's someone else. I don't know. But what can you expect in the month of August? Just to make up your mind and see. You want to put on your glasses and take a closer look. You know, you're going to be thinking about, is this going to be going on and on? Is this forever? You know, some of you may really need to go to the eye doctor. Trying to decide that, you know, you need to go to the eye doctor this month. Um, but I see that you're questioning, you're questioning it, you're questioning some things, you know, should I, should not, should I, should not, you don't know, you don't know, because is this going to solve anything, you know, I'm going to have to go back and forth on some stuff, you know, but I feel like you're going to come out pretty okay but just remember what you get is what you get and it's it's got something that a lot of it has to do with standards the policy you know it's just the way it is you know um okay the color red may be of significance to you or that could be your name like red fox Yeah, so you're thinking about how to change things up this month. Or do you have to change? You know, you may be thinking about changing policies. We think, we're talking about health care, eyesight, you know. Some of you are thinking about changing up your diet. You're questioning some things about your diet, you know, and which way to go. You want to eat more greens, you know, vegetables. So 
speaking of health, you probably want to go green. Hemp, you may be thinking about that. You feel like you need that because this is pain to me. Okay, pain. Yeah. So how I'm going to get what I need to get started? You know, and this could also be in business or in your career. You, 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 you want to be stable. You need to stabilize your vision. You need to stabilize your work plans. You need to stabilize your life. I feel like it's here, but it's the maximum. And these are the things that you're going to have to work out. You know, how are you going to do this and how are you going to do that? Again, I'm seeing that the order of things, the steps, okay? I'm also hearing something about throwing shade. It's coming out of somebody that was down and out. Throwing shade. Whoever it was, they just kept a smile on their face, but they was broken. I'm <laughs> Whoever this was was broken. And I'm not laughing because I've been there, but it's beautiful. Just like I'm laughing because they like they're not letting you let make they know they down and then they're gonna let you make them feel any worse, okay? They just keep a smile on their face because they know trouble don't last always. They open to receiving. This is in the past. They was open to receiving or you're open to receiving, okay? Because this will stabilize you or you need to be open to receiving. Sometimes it's hard for people to accept help. You know, it, it messes with the ego. You know, because the sages revealed to me that people sometimes resent you for helping them. And we dealing with Jupiter and I said earlier and I didn't even know that was coming out. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. You know, you resenting the person that's helping you. Don't do that. But I'm hearing somebody is thinking about how to make it better, how to top it off, or how to, you with them, or how to one up, you know, top somebody. One up, be on top of them, be better than them. You know what I'm saying? But red is sticking out again. Red, why? Again, that's a color, a name. Something about bare, bare feet. I don't know. But the outcome here is the high priestess energy. <laughs> okay, so something is revealed in the outcome. I feel like you're going to get your answer while you're on the toilet, some of you. About some privacy, something you want to keep private. Whatever this revelation is, you may want to keep private. But whatever it is, it makes you happy. It's something going on in the bathroom that you're going to keep secret. It makes you happy. Dodgers and Chargers. You're going to see it. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> I'm 
you got it. Okay. Wow. Now this decision about what you're going to do and all of that may come out of this revelation. You may need some help, whatever it is. You may need some help. But the great revealer is going to help you intuit something. Or something shows up. In the privacy of your room, in your room, in your bathroom, is some private space. know you could be sitting at your I don't know your favorite spot or a place that you sit where you frequent it but it's going to show up you can already get a revelation this month for some reason about something I think I know for some what it is but it's it's beneficial it's great all right so let's sum it up with a spirit vibe oracle message and chargers you ah, this gonna put a smile on your face <laughs> all right then i tell you woo <laughs> i don't know what it is i don't know but it's a lot of you hit the jackpot on this one and look what's underneath there loyalty oh i don't know what that's about but i'm gonna leave it on that note dodgers and chargers thank you for stepping into the soul station okay for your august report i can't wait to bring you the follow-up in the meantime do what it takes to make you happy and to have peace with yourself hotel I should just let it all go.